When it comes to advertising on Facebook or Instagram, one of the most important things to ensure that you have, and sometimes it's overlooked, is the Facebook, or sometimes called Meta, Pixel. If you don't have it installed, you're missing out. In this video, we're gonna talk about what exactly the Facebook Pixel is and why you need it. We're gonna talk about how to set it up in Business Manager and then how to install it on your website. Stay tuned, we're gonna go into an on-screen demo. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do this. Let's get started right now. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Lowell Brown. I run a digital marketing agency called Going Social where we take the complicated out of social media, a digital marketing and make it a little more simple and easy for you. One of the things that I do a lot for my clients is manage their Facebook, Instagram, even sometimes Google and LinkedIn, but I manage a lot of campaigns for clients. And this is often one of the things that I deal with a lot because clients come to me and they don't necessarily have the proper things set up when they're ready to go. And if you don't have the pixel installed, it'll greatly affect your ability to measure how your ads are doing and also to build up better audiences and monitor and improve performance over time. So let's get into everything right now. But before we get started, I do have a question. If you would like me to produce more videos, maybe demonstrate how to create some Facebook ad campaigns, um, how to get started with that, what different campaigns there are, just write a comment below and say, Facebook ads. That's all I need you to say. Facebook ads in the comments if you want more videos from me demonstrating a step-by-step -step how to create some Facebook ad campaigns. Now, let's get started with the video and we'll go into on-screen demo mode right now. This is one of my uh, test accounts um, right here. So the first thing that I wanna take you through is how to find the Metapixel and how to ensure that you have it set up and installed. Hey, so I wanted to stop here for a second, jump out of Ads Manager and just explain a couple things. Now we'll be swapping back and forth between screen sharing mode and camera mode here, just so I can explain some things to you. Now, if you have a Facebook ads account already set up, if you're using Ads Manager, that doesn't necessarily mean you have a Facebook pixel set up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you different areas of ads, uh, Facebook Business Manager, also called Meta Business Suite, and how to find the different tools that you need and to check if you have it set up. This is also gonna be helpful because when we go to install the pixel on our website, whether it's WordPress, whether it's um, you know installing it on, let's say a landing page like Lead Pages, or if you are running a campaign to somebody else's account and you need to give them the code, I'm gonna show you exactly where to find your code so that you can ensure or double check that you have it set up and ready. So let's flip back to screen sharing mode right now. Okay, so I've turned on my little mouse cursor that you're gonna save, see here, and that's just so that I can show and highlight some things on the screen here for you. Now, this left menu, this is very useful for you and where you're gonna find all the different items that you need. If you can't see certain things, click this little hamburger menu here. Now, what that's gonna do is it's going to open up a whole list of different things that you can find for Ads Manager and setting up your campaign. Now you might be thinking, hey, uh, there should be something that says Facebook Pixel, right? And once upon a time there was, there was a different uh, menu item here specifically for that. But what you are, the easiest way to find it is to click on Events Manager. Now basically Events Manager helps you organize all kinds of different things about measuring results. Um, this allows you to set up conversions or custom conversions. We're not gonna get into that in this video. It also allows you to tie in other data sources. So what we wanna focus on right now is a pixel, and that's where you see that right here. Let's just say that I wanted to create a new pixel. As you can see, I have a couple I have a pixel here and an event, but if I wanted to create something new, and if I didn't have the pixel set up, what you would do is click on connect data sources. Now that'll give you a couple options here. You can connect your website, apps, offline um, for tracking offline um, conversions, a content management system. We're gonna click on web 
because we want to connect it to a website. And this is where you can create a new pixel. So for this, we're going to say test pixel demo. Um, you can name it anything you want. I would recommend you name it either based on your company name or the website name. That way you know, um, in case you have more than one pixel, what it is. And when you're done, just create, click create pixel. So what, what they want to do here is sometimes they're going to scan your website just to see if um, they can set it up in an automated way. If you've got things like WordPress or WooCommerce or things like that, there might be ways for them to assist or provide instructions on different ways you can set it up. So I'm just gonna type in one of my uh, dummy websites here and I'm gonna click check and it's going to do something and then we click next. So you've got a couple options here. Um, you can get guidance or you can do it yourself. Uh, first, we're going to use the get guidance and he'll be helping you with you, just me. So this has improved a lot. Facebook didn't used to provide all these details to help you or guide you along the way. Um, and now they're basically, you know, walking you through some steps so that they can explain it in different ways and hopefully make it a little more um, easier for you. So I'm going to say I am tech savvy, even though I know what I'm doing here. Um, how much do you budget on your meta advertising? I don't know why they're asking that, why it really matters. Uh, so they're basically kind of recommending ways to get started. So if I had my website is WordPress, I'm just going to click WordPress. So it's telling me to choose which pixel that I want to set up. And what is common with um, the easiest way to install it on a WordPress website is with a plugin or by installing a plugin. And I will show you how um, easy it is to do that. You need to either have um, access to the back end of your website, or if it's WordPress, you need to have an admin login so that you can get in, install these plugins, and um, set up the code. And then I'm gonna also show you how to test that the code is working. So in this case, what it's gonna do is you're gonna click on plugins. Once you're logged in, you're gonna click on add new, you're gonna search for the Facebook for WordPress plugin, and then select um, add now. This is one way to do it, and there are different methods with different plugins that you can do it. So I will try to give you um, a little bit of a demo on that. You connect to your Facebook business account and it's gonna basically do it for you. So once you've got the code and stuff set up on your website, there are two ways that you can test this. One is within Facebook and another way is using a Google Chrome plugin or extension, Google Chrome extension, where you actually go to your website and you're gonna test if it's gonna fire. So we're gonna come back to this. Um, I'm gonna also show you another way that you can get this pixel code. Okay, I want to take a quick pause here again and just give a little bit of explanation about what exactly the Facebook meta, Facebook pixel or the meta pixel really is and why we need it and why we should have it installed uh, when we're running Facebook ad campaigns. It basically allows you to track, measure, and optimize the traffic that's coming from your ad to your website. The other thing that we can do, and we're gonna get into that in this video, is it helps you measure conversions. Now, what exactly is a conversion? Well, let's say we've got our Facebook ad and we've set it up on the platform. People see that ad and they're gonna take an action on the ad. They might click to make a phone call. They might click to go to our website. Uh, they may they may click on, they may enter a lead form. They may complete a form that's actually on that ad um, on Facebook instead of going to the website to complete a form. They could be engaging by leaving a comment. They could be watching a video. All of these sort of metrics um, are important and we need to understand who is taking an action on our ad. That helps us optimize the ad 
for the future to hit the right audience at the right time in the right way. So anytime someone takes an action on our ad, this Facebook is collecting data about that. Specifically for the purpose of this video, when they're going from the ad to a website, we wanna know what's happening. So if someone sees our ad, they click on the ad, they go to our website, we wanna know what page did they go on on our website. Now maybe people are going from page to page. Maybe we wanna track what pages they're going around to. That'll help us identify things. Now, sometimes people will create ads and they just direct people right away to their homepage of their website. Now that homepage could have all kinds of different information in it. I often recommend people go to a specific landing page, a specific page that has the same or connected information as our ad. So I'll give you an example. If for example, we're, we are a real estate agent and we're selling, uh, uh, we're trying to promote a property, a specific property. Instead of driving traffic from my Facebook ad right to my homepage, which shows all kinds of listings that I may have, I want people to see that one specific listing. So I'm gonna direct them to that one website that takes one click action away, it avoids people going to the wrong listing, and it allows me to get them in a short amount of time right to the content I want them to see. Now, while this pixel is measuring that traffic, there might be extra steps along the way that I wanna know about. So instead of just tracking, and, and this would be referred to in terms of a conversion as a content view. So instead of uh, me just knowing, hey, someone clicked on the ad and they went to my landing page and they saw my landing page, what I really wanna measure is how many of those people went from the ad to my landing page and then submitted a contact form that led to a thank you page. When they get to that final thank you page, I wanna measure conversion. To that page, people converting from the ad to submitting a form. So I need to ensure that the tracking pixel is not only installed on my account, it's installed on my website and that I've got conversions set up to track that somebody went on um, from the ad to the website, completed the form, got to the thank you page, and that also is categorized as a conversion to a lead form or um, uh, application filled out or contact. And we can set that up in our ads manager. We're gonna get back to that right now, but I wanted to give you an understanding of what exactly the Facebook pixel does, why it's important, why you wanna have it set up on your website. Without having this set up, we, wouldn't, we would not know how many people are going from the ad to the website, what pages they're going to, and if they are converting into a lead. Now you might be saying, hey, why is this important? Well, this can help us because when we're running different campaigns, we can get a better understanding of, well, which campaign is converting better? Let's say I'm, let's say I'm advertising um, one campaign with a set of pictures and another campaign with a video. Well, if I wanna know which one is converting customers better without having this pixel installed, I don't have that data to look back on. I don't know whether or not the video is converting better than images, or if I've got two videos, which video is converting better? Maybe it's not even the content, maybe it's my headlines, maybe I've got two different campaigns with two different headlines, and I wanna know which one is connecting better with my audience. I need data, and that's what the Facebook Pixel is all about. It helps you collect data about the activity taken on your ads so that you know what's happening, you can also target to the right people better, and so that you can understand and optimize your for better for porn, performance for future ad campaigns. So that's my summary. I hope that makes a lot of sense. If you need more information, comment below and just tell me what your question is and I'll answer it for you in the comments. Now this, by the way, is one of the things that I help my clients with, not only with um, setting up their accounts in here, but also optimizing and improving and tracking um, to see what's performing better in their campaigns. So if this is the kind of thing that you need help on, if you have been struggling to do Facebook ads on your own, um, I do have a link below where you can click to uh, get a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me or whether you wanna contact me if you'd like me 
Um, if you'd like help from me in running and setting up your campaigns, click that link below. It's in the description on this video. For now, let's get back into the video. I'm gonna um, show you how to set up the pixel and then we're gonna go into testing that everything is firing as well. So let's go back right now. When you come in to Events Manager, you will, now that you've got it set up, you wanna click on Data Sources and then you would select the pixel that you wanna use. In our case, it's gonna be this text demo test pixel demo. That's what I'm using. As you can see, it's not receiving any data. This tells me that it's not set up properly on our website. Okay. We might on this video demo, you may not actually see data here because it could take up to a day for it to start collecting data and showing it here, but we'll, we'll see how far we can get with the testing just to show you that things are indeed working again. Go, click on overview. We scroll down, set up meta pixel. We click on that and you've got a couple choices here and we're going to install manually. You can get the, the code. Now this here that you see, so if I copy that, this code is what we're going to install on our website. All you have to do is come here and click copy uh, actually. And it tells you it install this in the head tag on your website. So if I was just to show you what this code actually looks like, this is the actual code that we need to add on our website in the head tag. Now I'm going to quickly jump over to a WordPress website where I can show you now how to install it. Okay. So let's circle back here. The first thing we did was we went into um, Facebook business manager from our ads account. I showed you how to set up or create that new Facebook pixel. The last step that I showed you just before this was how to get in and just install that pixel. Um, the pixel is, is the absolute most important. If you can measure your conversions as well, great. But at the very least, get the pixel installed on your website. That way you're collecting data on people and traffic to your website. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you in a WordPress website how to install the pixel. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you using a Google Chrome extension how to test that the uh, pixel is firing. Now, firing means that once we go to the website, um, Facebook is able to track that, yes, somebody did go on to that website and they're sending the information back to Facebook to your account so that they are measuring that activity. That's what firing the pixel means. The reason why we use Google Chrome to test this is that there's an extension, almost like a plugin for the Chrome browser. I'm on a Mac, I use Safari. Safari doesn't have anything like this. So Google Chrome has an extension where it will um, show you that there's traffic going there. It'll show that the pixel is pixing, picking up that data and sending it back to Facebook. And I'm also gonna show you within Facebook, um, assuming that it's measuring the traffic fast enough, I will show you how you can go in there and check that everything is working as well. So let's go back into screen sharing mode right now. We're gonna jump into the back end of one of my websites and I'm gonna show you um, how to use WordPress and install this various ways to your website. Okay, so we are here in WordPress. Now this is a brand new plain WordPress install. What you wanna look for in order to install the plugin on the website, the easiest thing to do is to go here to plugins, click on that, and this right away is just showing us some um, plugins that are already installed on the site and just click on add new. It's really simple because WordPress gives you a store automatically or a way to search for and find new plugins. So what we're going to do here first is we're going to type in Facebook pixel. Now you may recall when we were setting up the pixel, uh, there were a couple recommended plugins that we could use. This one you'll notice is from Facebook. So what I usually look for is I look to see if I know who the author or the creator of the uh, pixel, uh, sorry, the, the plugin is, and then I look at the ratings and how many installs there were. So this one, while it is by um, WordPress, doesn't have the greatest... Um, reviews. If you search for install header code, um, this one I've used before. Again, in, 
it was updated fairly recently. You want to make sure something's been updated recently. It's got over a thousand um, reviews, which is good. That's one that I would recommend. Um, there was another one I've used in the past and I don't remember what it was called. Um, I've used Elementor as a um, website builder. So I know that that is good. I think it was this one that I've used. Nope, not that one. It would have been something with better reviews. Anyways, let, let's install this one. So you just click install now and it's installed and then click activate. Activate, while it is installed, you have to make sure it's turned on. So right away, um, we've got that installed. As you could see, it took a second. And then what do you do? Where do you find it here? So um, you're not actually going to click it in here. While it is installed here, this isn't where we use it. You actually will, usually when you install a plugin, you'll either see that it's under, um, sometimes it's under tools, sometimes it's under settings. In this case, this is what we want, code snippets. So anytime you add something new, uh, for example, they've already added a couple here just as, as tests. What you wanna do is go into add new and then you're going to go to add your own custom code and then give it a title. So we're gonna say this is Facebook Pixel, okay? And the code, so we wanna copy the code here. Now, how do we get that code again? Let's go back into Meta. We wanna click under continue pixel setup. We want to do the Meta Pixel, click connect install code manually, copy the code, then go back to our website and paste that code. Again, as you can see, it's all this bit of code, it's right here. And now what do we do? Insert method, auto insert. Well, we want this to be, um, yes, we do wanna uh, select it as auto insert, the location, site-wide header. So this gives us options to say, do we want this only on one page? Do we want it on all the pages and where do we want it? We don't want it on the footer because Facebook, if we go back here, Facebook is saying, paste the pixel code in the bottom of the header section above the head tag. So this is gonna do that for us automatically. But again, we wanna make sure it's in the header, not in the footer. We wanna put it in the header. So site-wide header, we don't need to schedule this and we want it for any device and that's it. That's all we have to do. After that, we click save snippet and snippet saved. Don't forget to activate the snippet under the update menu. So we click on update. So basically what it's doing is it's uploading or, or re-uploading everything to the website so that it's live. Now, if we go back to code snippets, just to to clarify, we've got that new one set up, Facebook Pixel, the author who created it, so we know it was us. It's a site-wide header when it was created and the status, so make sure the status is on. All right, let's summarize what we've done so far. We've gone into Facebook, we've created the Pixel, and then I showed you how in WordPress we can install that uh, Pixel by adding code with a plugin. We've got the plugin, uh, we've got the code embedded, we have the uh, snippet in set up as activated. So now what do we do? Well, we need to test that this is actually working. How do we do that? We do that in two ways. The first way I'm gonna show you is with Google Chrome to show you that the pixel, to confirm the pixel is installed and firing. And then I'm gonna show you how to test it in the back end of Facebook Business Manager where we were before. Let's jump back into screen sharing mode now and we'll go and do that together. Okay, so we are back here in screen sharing mode. This is my website. Again, it is just a dummy website I created. I did a quick WordPress install, so there's nothing on this page. This is all dummy text, but um, this is the very site where we just installed that pixel code. Now I'm using Google Chrome here because Chrome has these things called extensions, and they're basically little apps that you can install into your website. Um, what I'm gonna quickly just show you is, if you go to Google, if you just do a Google search, Google Chrome extensions, it's gonna open up the Google store, 
okay? When you're in just, this is almost the exact same um, process that we did with installing a plugin in WordPress. What I want you to do here is just search for Facebook. We are looking for something that is called Facebook Pixel, the Facebook or Meta Pixel Helper. I've already have this added. So again, what you would do is you would click on it and you'll see a button here that says install in Chrome. We've got it installed on my browser and you can actually find it right here. Once you install one of these extensions, you'll see it up in your top nav bar here. Now the way to know if it's working, you'll see the difference between these two menus. You see how here it's dark? That means there's no pixel installed there. Now, when I go back to my website, sometimes you have to refresh, so I will refresh the page. You'll see that I now have a number here. If you click on that extension, it drops down a window and I'm going to just show you here and it is showing our pixel ID. So if you look on it, you'll see that the last four digits are 4581. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna check and make sure that this is the correct pixel. I have worked with clients before who thought they had the pixel installed. When I looked at their ads account, the pixel that was installed on their website was not the same pixel, which means somebody else installed the pixel, put it on their website, but they had no clue that they didn't actually own the data uh, for that pixel. So basically what I mean there is somebody else was using their own pixel, uh, maybe it was a different ad developer, um, they used a pixel that was tied to their account, not the client's account, and um, and they therefore didn't actually own the data that was going to their website, which is not a good thing. So what we wanna do under here is we wanna to go to settings and I wanna look for that. This is the data set ID, that's the pixel ID. So we've got 4581 there. If I go back, I see that it is 4581, so it is the correct pixel. Now, what I see here Again, we haven't set up any conversions properly on this site. So what I see here is a green check. That green check means that this is fired. So it sent a page view because we have loaded this page and that tells me the pixel is installed and the pixel is firing. We're all set up. So now I mentioned before we could check if things are working in the web in in the back end here in Facebook. So let's go back to overview. If I reload this, again, sometimes it takes an hour or two before it's going to show us data. Sometimes it works right away. So I'm refreshing the page just to see if it is now going to show us data. And it is. So here what we want to see is no website data found. So there's no activity yet. Here's the data. We know that it's 4581. Last activity though, active, last received four minutes ago. So we kind of know that we're getting something there. Now, one other thing I do want to check here is one setting that's going away is that you used to have to approve domains, meaning that, again, this is to prevent other people from stealing your pixel data or that kind of thing, um, or you collecting data on websites that from websites where you don't want to be. Um, Facebook is apparently going away or, or removing this feature, but I just want to see if it is still available here. Traffic website. So here there's create and allow and a permission list. So let's create an allow list and then we can type in our name, domain name, and then click next. And we want to add this to our allow list. There. Okay. So now for sure I know that permission is set up for this domain. All right. I wanted to quickly just give you a um, screen preview from a day from now. When I was recording the video, I actually added this clip in after to show you that the pixel is actually firing and working. This is the test pixel demo. You'll now see there is event activity and it shows that uh, we have one active integration. It shows the website that we added and approved. And uh, again, this is the pixel code. 
And it shows 20 hours ago, there was the activity, which was the couple page views that we were doing when we installed it. Under here are events. Now, you may recall when we were using that Pixel Helper, it showed a page view and it had a green check showing that um, there was Pixel uh, Fire, Pixel Activity. And the page view is basic, basically one of these events that we had set up. You can create more of these event activities. This is one of the ways you can set up those conversions that I talked about. Again, I'm not gonna go into detail on this video. If you do want more information about that uh, for a future video, just leave me a comment below. I just wanted to show you what it will look like if you install your Pixel, give it an, an hour to a day, come back, look at it to, to check and confirm in Facebook that everything's working, you'll see activity on this chart here. I'm gonna actually show you my Going Social website. And as you can see, I have a lot of activity on my website and um, I do have these other conversions that I'm measuring. This is just one set of things, but I'm measuring things like page view. I'm able to measure how much someone scrolls down on pages. I can see if I've collected leads. I can see if I've got completed. Now, some of these are active on different landing pages that I have set up. So these are for lead form submissions that I've got there. So what's pretty cool here is if you click on any one of these, it can give you a little bit more de details about the data um, that's on your website in any given day. And if you wanna even drill down even more, you can click on event details and see, see the sampled activities. And this will actually even tell you what pages uh, people were viewing. So if you really wanna drill down into that, um, again, it gives you these little options that you can filter, but I, I can get in here to see what pages were people looking at or what pages, and this isn't just from, from data from my ads, this is actual traffic on my website. So now that the pixel is installed, I'm able to track all activity of um, anything that's going to my website and and see that that here. So it can be helpful if you want to drill down a little bit and look at more of that data uh, from the pixel activity on your website and know what pages people are going to, that kind of thing. So I just wanted to show you that the pixel was actually working and give you just a quick summary to let you see how you can go into the different events now that you've got the pixel there and see some more data. That's it for this little jump cut. We're gonna jump back and finish the video now. So that's it. In this video, I showed you how to set up the Facebook or Meta Pixel on your website. I explained what the Pixel is, why you need to have it if you're running Facebook ads, why it can help improve and track the data uh, that and the activity of and performance of your ads. Um, we looked at where to locate that pixel. If you don't have one set up, how to set it up, how to install it on your website on a WordPress website, and then how to test that it is tracking the data properly. We didn't go into detail here about the conversion tracking. That is a little bit more complicated to set up um, using the API. I may do that in a future video, but at this point, what I wanted to show you was how to check that your pixel is set up, how to install it on your website, and you can go from there when you're creating your Facebook ads. Once again, my name is Lowell Brown from Going Social. I run a digital marketing agency in Toronto. I help clients with their Facebook, Instagram ads, as well as other digital marketing platforms. If you are looking for help with your digital marketing, Maybe you just want a consultation in terms of one-on-one um, -on -one help to ensure things are set up. I have clients who have contacted me to just check on how their campaigns are doing, to understand the data better, to understand how to know if a campaign is performing well, to get some advice in terms of what they can do to improve. Um, we also do a lot of full account management for clients where we do everything from uh, setting up your campaigns the targeting for your campaigns, creating the creative for your ads, and then tracking on an ongoing basis and making sure everything is good. So if you are looking for help with any of this, check the links below on this video. You can get in touch with me. You can uh, book a consultation or hire us to help you with your ad campaigns. And um, if you have any questions, write comments below 
and I will be sure to answer them for you. So thank you again for watching this video. Stay tuned for upcoming videos and I've got other ones that you might like to watch. You can check the playlist up here. I've got other Facebook ad marketing videos for you to help ensure that you are set up correctly, to give some examples of different campaigns um, that you can do. And just check out my channel. I've got lots of great content there and I would love your feedback. If there's anything that you would like me to cover in an upcoming video, just shoot a comment and let me know. Um, until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks very much. Have a great day, guys.